Continuing on the custom card review streak, we're going to be talking about a Super Saiyan Goku, and it's coming in from K. But before I go and read K's card inside today's video, send me custom cards over to VHFCustomCards at gmail.com so I can get to your custom card as soon as possible while I'm getting all these recent custom cards out of the way. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I'm going to be moving at light speed through this video due to time constraints. So, K says, hey, Dev, here is the concept for 2024 Worldwide Down Celebration. Concept was made before the ninth anniversary, but I couldn't send it earlier. Check the part two first because I kind of predict units, but the wrong part and switch rarities. And mine, Broly is Dokkan Fest and Goku is Carnival. Also, I'm writing this after card arts for the units were revealed. So thank you for sending your custom card in, K. This is the 200% let's go. Just do, we'll go ahead and glance over it. Uh, we have the uh, Piccolo and Gohan who are uh, quite good unit we have the ninth anniversary gogeta we do have zamasu for specific scenarios we have tech gogeta who i think is probably going to be the best link partner because the fact that this card is creating rainbow orbs and could definitely be a dominant force after they do fuse we have str super vegeta grants in the right scenario and other options that i'm going to go and just leave out just for the sake of time so with that being said let's talk about this unit all right so dokkan fest LR, STR, Limits Broken by Fury, Kyle Ken Goku. Uh, leader skill is Earth Red Fighters, Exploding Rage, or Super Saiyans 3 key and 170% across the board. I need 30% of the stats is to plan a Nemesis Saga or Final Trump card. And we just showcased the 200% leader skill. Not the complete 200% leader skill, but so yeah, you guys got a little bit of a taste of the 200% the leader skill for the team with the TRs and some of the LRs. So, with that being said, uh, activates interest animation upon entry once only, and he's effective against all types for the rest of the battle, and he has 59% attack and launches a guaranteed super for four turns from entry turns, so that is nice. Three key and 159% attack and defense baseline, and a 70% chance to guard. Launches two additional attacks that both have a 50% chance to come a super attack, and a baseline 30% damage reduction. An additional two key and 20% attack and defense where keys are obtained, and an additional 10% attack and defense if the key sphere obtained is str when hp is 70 percent or more performs a guaranteed crit, crit when key is 24 and six percent damage reduction for rainbow keys are obtained an additional 59 percent attack and defense performing a super attack as well as uh, this card also being a rainbow orb changer when there is a planet nemesis saga or super saiyan category ally attack on the same turn so absolutely tech gogeta is going to be far and away this card's best linking partner because i'm pretty certain that this card is creating rainbow orbits for free if you're not going with tech gogeta for whatever reason you're going to go with the uh, namek saga piccolo and gohan because you're going to be able to send size slot one for those first couple of turns of course and piccolo is just dominant himself so you're going to be sitting very very well with both of those cards just in general and the 12 key for kyle ken goku that, that being a uh, dance of fire red sparks stacks attack and gains 50% defense one turn with a 30% chance to sacrifice 4% HP. And the 18 key super that being Kyle Ken times 20 Kamehameha. Stacks attack and defense with a 30% chance to stun the enemy and a 70% chance to sac sacrifice, excuse me, 4% HP. So I'm um, stacking in both uh, super attack effects. Um, getting a defensive buff one turn is obviously nice. going to be helpful because this card can get up to three plus supers. It's going to be effective against all types. If you get the 24 key, you are rewarded with a guaranteed crit. Uh, you get up to, of course, three plus supers. If I didn't already state that already, a 70% chance to guard. Uh, what else? 30% uh, damage reduction, uh, nuking capabilities, which is obviously nice concern. The fact that this card is a rainbow orb changer. Um, and with that being also stated within that same fact, this card also gets 6% damage reduction for rainbow keys are obtained and attack a defensive buff from their pass to a super attack effect. So they're looking quite good all around. The only thing is, is that you really do want this card to get enough rainbow orbs and you really do want this card to get that guard chance off but if you do get those two things off you're going to be looking very good defensively now on the offensive end um guarantee crits grants you get the 24 key um effective against all types if you don't um up to three plus supers like i've already stated nuking capabilities and that is really all there is to be say, stated about that um now the standby uh stands by for five turns into piccolo during which charge count increases by one key well, one per key sphere obtained by allies. So that's pretty much just universal for standbys. Uh, can be activated when HP is 70% or less or starting from the fourth turn for start of battle. So yes, maybe you could go with Piccolo. You probably could. Yeah, you run double with this guy's leader skill. You have these guys on another rotation. You have these guys on another rotation with the uh, Kyle Kengoku. That's not a bad idea at all. Yeah. 
And the links are all in the family Z Fighter, Saint Warrior Race, Saint Lineage, Prepare for Battle, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. And the passive, stalling to prepare the final attack. Unable to attack except when finish skill or well, finish effect, excuse me. Finish effect is activated. 200% defense, a 70% chance to dodge. All allies get 5 key, 59% defense, and changes a certain type of key sphere to Rainbow Key Sphere. So just a, they're just a Rainbow Orb Changer, excluding STR, obviously. Um, and uh, plus additional 12% damage reduction with each Rainbow Key Sphere obtained, and 459% attack when finish effect 1 or 2 is activated and provides with 100% HP recover by transforming into Super Saiyan Goku when character or an ally attack in the same turn is KO'd once only. So that is a little bit of a loaded uh, standby. So just to go ahead and sum it up, a 200% defense of rage just at the start of turn so 200 defense a 70 percent chance to dodge great support that being five key and 59 percent defense they're a rainbow orb changer that gets 12 percent damage reduction for rainbow keys to obtain they get a huge glob of attack when they do go ahead and activate their finish skill which makes a whole lot of sense and granted you do have this character or an ally that gets ko they do get that revival into super saiyan goku who i'm going to assume is very very broken uh any finish effect, that being Spirit Bomb for 1, raises attack by 20% temporarily per charge count, and of course does ultimate damage to enemy. And the finish effect 2, that being the Super Spirit Bomb, that raises attack by 25%, of course, charge count, blah blah blah, and super ultimate damage to the enemy. And of course, 29, 29 or less, or 30 or more for the little charge counter. And for Piccolo's links, it's going to be Solid Support, uh, Z Fighters, Tough as Nails, Brainiacs, Prepare for Battle, and Fierce Battle. So I'm pretty sure that Piccolo gains the uh, Tough as Nails, Brainiacs, and Solid Support. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's going to be the changes for him. All right, so Super Saiyan Goku is probably a god. Five key, 300% attack and defense at the start of turn. Great. Guarantee guard. Great. Two keeper keys to obtain. Great. 30% damage reduction with his already unrestricted guard. Great. Gets an additional 29% damage reduction before attacking. Amazing. So he has guard with up to 59% damage reduction before he attacks, which is obviously bananas. Guarantee crit when key is 20 or more. Uh, launches a guaranteed super when key is 24. He is a rainbow orb changer when there is uh, three or more earth red fighters category allies on the team, which is very easy for him to get off because in the fact that he is leading earth red fighters. Launches two additional attacks that both have a 70% chance to come with super attack per rainbow keys are obtained. And for siege enemy super attacks with the, the characters attacking turn, so just seeing super attacks for free. Nullifies key blast super attacks work out the character. Uh, and from the next turn onward, he has a 70% chance to uh, nullify Key Blast Super Attacks so at this character. And he also gets an additional 59% attack and launches a guaranteed super when facing a Wicked Bloodline or Terrifying Conquerors category enemy. And his new super attack, that being uh, Furious Strikes of Legend, 50% attack and defense one turn. And his 18 key, that being Legendary Kamehameha, dope name by the way, 50% attack and defense one turn. And raises allies defense by 59% for one turn. Um, Let's see, defensive end up to 59% damage reduction, guard, um, what he's doing to help out the team, he's creating rainbow orbs, he's foreseeing enemy super attacks, he has a guaranteed key blast nullification, and, and for the turn onward, he has a 70% chance to nullify key blast super attacks directed at him, um, offensively, 300% attack with his defense, uh, what else, guaranteed crits when key is 20 or more, uh, launch a guaranteed super when he gets 224 key, I like the fact that he's getting rewarded for it, and what else does he have? He can launch two additional attacks that both have a 70% chance come super attack with each rainbow keys are obtained. So he can do a, a just a barrage of attacks. And that is all. Yeah. He also gets that um, additional attack and guarantee super when facing a wicked bloodline or terrifying conquerors category. Anyway, which makes sense because, of course, it is a Super Saiyan Goku. So that is all. He And if some of his links do change, he gets Super Saiyan in place of all in the family. He gets Golden Warrior in place of Z Fighters. He keeps saying where a race. I like to assume. He does. He keeps saying Warrior Race. Um, he loses the same lineage for Shocking Speed, and then that is it. That's all it changes. So, W card. Um, Goku is just um, God. Uh, Piccolo is um, just uh, defensive juggernaut. Yes, because he's getting damage reduction for Rainbow Keys are obtained uh, with 200% defense with a 70% chance to dodge while supporting. Um, then also you have uh, Goku himself. Goku's looking pretty solid too. Yeah, Goku looks good all around in Piccolo too. Um, with good linking partners so that's gonna be about it okay thank you for sending your custom card uh i appreciate you guys watching you guys are the best send me custom cards over to bhdevcustomcards at gmail.com so i get to your custom card as soon as possible i'll bring all these recent custom cards out of the way i'm sorry that i rushed through this video i 
am on a very strict amount of time right now, so I gotta do what I gotta do. Please bear with me, guys. And I think that's all. Join, join the 24-7 Disco server. The link is down below in the description for you guys to join today. Leave a like, subscribe, and that's it. <laughs> Peace.